And welcome back everybody to Park City, Utah. It's the 2017 Big Sky kickoff. I'm John Oglesby and I think everyone here knows who we're joined by Portland State's head coach, Bruce Barney Barnum. What's up, Barney? How Good are you? Good to see you, Oggs. Good to see you too. Year three. Year three. But before we get into this, I think we have to address what happened the day before the Big Sky kickoff. And Portland State and our entire crew would like to congratulate you on your engagement to be wed. Oh, that's big news in the big sky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how big a news it is for the league, but it's big news for me, and I appreciate that. Congrats. My friend. Thank you so much. You know, let's look back at last season. 2015 was so magical, and then last season there was a lot of things that happened, some off-the-field tragedies, injuries to guys. It was a different different vibe, different different results last year. What steps have you taken in the off-season to, to get it back to the way it was in 2015? Learning process, oh, you know, the, the record isn't what we wanted it to be, anybody yeah. at Portland State University. But the lessons learned, I think, will pay off in the future. We played a lot of youth. Um, we entered a lot of games, and we lost them right at the end. A lot of, you could write a story on that season as well, mm-hmm. from yeah. tragedy to all the things that happened to us. But uh, my team never quit. My team approached every game the same as they did in 15. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm looking at the glass half full. The experience our youth got last year and the things we went through, the adversity, um, I think number one is going to help them in the next 40 years of their life. Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to give us more grit on the football field this year. This year is going to be interesting because at quarterback, which is obviously a major position, the last couple of years you have an established starter in Alex Caressa. Now there's a competition. You bring Josh Kraft, who's in the mix for that battle. But how's that quarterback competition been through spring camp and in the summer? It's a great room right now. I've got a group in there from young guys, California, Florida. I brought in Cutter and Eason. I've got Alexander from Gig Harbor, Washington. If we play tomorrow, I've got Josh Kraft, uh, our student athlete that's here. But Josh knows uh, he's always going to have competition um, in life and at Portland mm-hmm. State. So I bring in Cade Smith. Um, so he's not just you know battling with, with that. But if we play tomorrow, it's Josh Kraft. But that position is one I'm not going to be, oh, what's going on? I'm, gonna, uh, be, I'm excited to watch that position leading into August 26, our first game at, at, at the Mighty Provo. Yep, we'll be excited to be there for that game as the Vikings take on BYU on ESPN. Got a lot of some good road games this year coming up. I think everybody by this point knows about the Americana Tour that uh, <laughs> the Vikes take all across this great land of ours. But uh, what are some early, any early contenders for uh, highlights for the they, trips? You know, those are the things, they just come to, come to us. Yeah. Folks. You know, I've heard that some coaches have been putting bids in. I guess 26 August, I'm just flipping through some things. Uh, the night of our BYU game, after post game, um, there's a fight, uh, some fight I haven't, uh, on national TV. Yeah. That, that they, oh, let's stream this in for the team. But you know, thinking about it, uh, we moved a lot as mm-hmm. a kid. And if we were moving from point A to point B, my parents, Bud and Sal, would put, put us in that Buick LeSabre, and if it was a three-day trip, it took us a week to get there. We would see Booger Hollow, Arkansas, to Gatorland, to, uh, there was always something to every cousin yeah. in my family. Uh, but that's kind of where it came from. That's kind of where it sprouted from, it, bringing that to the team. Again, it gets them out of the fiefdom. Um, but there will be things. I need to do a little more research into Provo. Obviously, the Going to Temple last year was cool, and I could see that being on the docket again just because of the history and how beautiful that place is. All right, well, everybody make sure to stay tuned for that this upcoming season with the Americana Tour. All right, let's get back to football 2017 for the Vikings. What are some things you're excited about? What are a couple goals you have this upcoming fall camp as you get ready for the season? Um, I'm excited about just starting, Oaks. Um, uh, the two positions. I think we improved. I know we improved every position on our team. Um, I'm curious to watch quarterback and safety right now. Those are the two I'm like, okay, who's going to win? Yeah. Who's going to be on the field first? But uh, we're going to simplify some things on defense. Um, just make it that group, make sure they're in the right spot reacting. 
Um, and again, I think our tight end group is different this year. Our receiver group um, is, is different. By different, I mean a little more improved. And there's some kids there, some names you might not have heard of that you're going to see show up um, this year for Portland State. All right. Well, interested to see how the Vikings play in 2017. Again, that opener coming up here. Just a little over a month at BYU and Barney. Best of luck to the Vikes this season, my friend. Thank you very much, Will. Okay, we'll take a short break. We'll come on back with Dan Hawkins, UC Davis, coming up right after this on Watch Big Sky, powered by Pluto TV.